Hello, my name is Cody Randall and recently I've done a project to better brand myself uh, to create marketability for me as an employee in the future searching for a job in the job market. Uh, I did this through identifying my strengths and my weaknesses, my opportunities and threats through a SWOT analysis and then use that to understand my, com my competition and where I stand against them and my target market. I then define my goals. I set those goals and my focus on how to achieve those goals. After doing that, I then go through the marketing process, the four P's, the marketing mix of product, price, promotion, and place to then create a strategy to market myself to potential employers. I first start off with my SWOT analysis. For my strengths, there's my internal strengths and my external strengths. For internal, I am uh, detail oriented, I am committed, motivated, adaptable, and analytical. For external, it is two sections, my job and my job experience and education. For education, I have a strong technical background after two years in the computer information technology field, which will help me moving forward as many uh, sectors become more technologically advanced and people have to adapt. Uh, I also will graduate with 150 credits as my, and my bachelor's allow me to pursue a CPA certific certification which will help me greatly in achieving job and, and increasing my markability. Um, I, for my job, I've been at the same place, Subway, for three years and will show I'm loyal. I also have management experience where I'm now an assistant manager which will also show that I have business op experience somewhat. Uh, for my weaknesses, uh, I also have the you know, internal and external. I have the problems with uh, I'm too critical of myself in a lot of my uh, my endeavors, and often thinking maybe I've failed in, in situations which I have hit the mark and succeeded. Uh, I like to have control over situations, and I know that a lot of times I am subordinate to someone who will have more power and more control on a situation than me, and I need to understand that better. Um, sometimes I can I do my job too quick rush I'm always about getting things done and moving on to the next thing and don't maybe not focus enough on exactly what I'm doing at the time at hand and I have a problem with patience like I said you know I want to move on to the next thing and I have a thing with patience and waiting uh, for external uh, I don't have any certifications yet I haven't graduated yet none I am still in the process of completing a lot of the major steps it takes to become an accountant right now um, and I also don't have an internship currently. So I, that moving forward, that those are weaknesses that I will have to work on. Opportunities I can take though, in the social realm would be uh, getting on social media, creating a better network, uh, getting a better job with more experience, going to job fairs to network there, as well as uh, creating LinkedIn and joining clubs on campus to increase part of my resume outside of education and job and to make myself look more whole and represent myself better on a resume. I also have uh, technical opportunities where I can learn uh, industry uh, software such as QuickBooks that would help me learn better bookkeeping and uh, accounting practices. I um, have regulation opportunities with new regulations being made now that I can take advantage of on self-teaching myself to get ahead in the market stuff that they will not teach me in college. Um, I also have uh, socio, uh, socio, eco-social um, opportunities I can do, but increasing my, my uh, network through social media, I take, taking advantage of that and uh, creating my network of people I can use as, you know, maybe people I can use on a uh, resume to help better my resume or just to help maybe identify positions and help me get my foot in the door at places. Uh, so then I identify the threats against me, which mostly has to do with the emerging technology and regulations in the market and in the market uh, accounting, uh, with new software being used that I might not have access to now or might not have the education to now, and even after I graduate, may not. So I will have to keep ahead of that of the learning curve to keep myself and competitive in the job market same thing with the regulations I'll have to keep up on those regulations and the new technology being used I then have to 
find my comp my competition in the market, which I believe to be mainly new entries into the market, which which in accounting you have have to have a bachelor's degree. So it's going to be at least uh, millennials with bachelor's degrees, maybe even a, a, um, master's degrees, which I also plan on pursuing. So I then you know see that them that they're going to be educated younger younger with the current to the same accomplishments as me maybe better networking uh depending because i don't use social media as much as many people my age and uh, networking could be a big problem for me in the future um but i do think that technologically i may have better computer skills and more adaptability than my competition and that could be a good uh plus for me and then i uh identify my market you know market analysis and it's going to be i'd like to go for large accounting firms uh, i'd like to go to one of the big four such as price uh price waterhouse cooper um kpmg you know ernest young one of the, ernst young one of the big four uh, so i by identifying them uh they're usually going to identify through the recruiters who they I would find on LinkedIn, which are usually older from Generation X, uh, have more of a traditional business background, business sense, are um, a little different than my generation and as far as social social aspects. So that's gonna have to be something that I have to adapt to their business norms, their social norms, uh, and really try to target them in their own way. Um, I then outline my focus and goals, and um, as far as education goes, I plan on receiving a bachelor's in accounting in 2021. Upon completing my undergrad with 150 credits, I will take the CPA certification test. Upon passing, I will then pursue my CMA and CFA certifications in addition to trying to gain my master's degree in accounting as well. Um, I'd like to be in the future in Chicago because it's already close to where I live here now. I can create a network now. I can get started in moving in, penetrating that market myself now without having the qualifications I need building my network. Uh, it's also the, one of the largest employers of accountants in the United States, which will help me in the future. Uh, it could give me better job opportunities. Um, it's also higher paid with the national average being around 54,000 and it's 63,000 in Illinois where I'd be paying getting a significant increase in pay uh, And the specific job I wish to have in the future would be to work at Price Waterhouse Cooper as management in accounting department under the auditing area I'd like to do auditing as a practice because I believe auditing is an area in which I can keep other companies in line and check and make sure that they're following their duties their fiduciary duties to their company and to their stockholders. Um, so once I have identified those goals, you know, my specific job, when, how I'm gonna, what I'd like to do, I then I'm gonna create a marketing plan for myself as the product. You know, as the product, you know, what do I have to offer? You know, like I said, my strengths, my education, I will have my master's degree. I will have my certifications, which will significantly help hopefully a good internship that I will have during my years in college that will help me, uh, which will send me to that next level and get me an, inter an entry level position at a big firm. Uh, so I think my experience and my education are the big factors there for my product. Uh, I also think that for price, uh, I would be willing to, you know, go under the indus industry, um, norm as you know normal amount of salary for entry-level position in order to get my foot in the door and do what I have to do to show that I am the hard worker that I am to really prove my characteristics as a person my uh, my intangibles that I can't really show without you know doing the job and you know getting to know the people that I work with um, promoting myself uh, mainly through social media like I've said building my, my network getting to know people letting people know who I am as a person and then using that to help them promote me and promoting myself through these by creating contact with, uh, like I said, my target market, which would be the recruiters for these large firms. Um, 
So that would be my main way, way of promoting myself using those methods uh, and uh, the education that I received. And the place, obviously, like I said before, would be Chicago. So it's a place that I'm familiar with and a place that I also have a lot of current people in the network, a small network that I do have there. So it's, it's a place that I believe is a good market for me, a market that I understand, and that since I am from this area and this is my culture, would be good for me and a product placement because it's a place where I belong. And so overall, I believe that's how I will market myself to better create a brand for myself and improve my marketability. Thank you.